Hi, I'm Daryl from NBA Interview Reviews, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Tour Box Neo. I found out about the Tour Box Neo about three weeks to about a month ago. I was looking for um, a, a faster way to edit videos, um, you know, when I was editing, and so initially my search began DaVinci Resolve website to see if um, there if they had any controllers because I think I, I I know I had seen some a while back but I just didn't know if they were for what I thought they were so I went on there and um, I saw some I saw one that was pretty that was pretty affordable so I went of course where I, where I always go at which is to eBay to see if it was uh, cheaper and it was and so after that I watched some YouTube reviews of it and. Uh, some of the reviews were good. Some of them were not so good. And um, what I didn't like about the um, DaVinci Resolve editing controller was that specifically it was only it was only used for DaVinci Resolve. So if I if I wanted to use another controller for another software like Studio One, which I also use, or any other program, I would have to buy an additional controller. So for me, the Toolbox was a great option because you can use it on multiple um, softwares. Now I will say that initially um, it came down between the Loop Deck Live and the Toolbox Neo. I do have them both right here. But for me, it came down to the Toolbox Neo because it was easier to use out of the box. Um, um, I believe I had to do like a, a, a few um, touch-ups to the, some of the knobs that um, were already pre-assigned somewhere else um, and so I just did that real fast and boom uh, it, it was working out of the box within five or ten minutes whereas the loop deck live I had to kind of go in there and you know just kind of do the work some workarounds and I didn't find it to be as user-friendly as the tour box and you know I was expecting that because one of the reviews that I watched on the loop deck live the guy she said that uh, you know coming coming out of the box you know you're gonna have to take some time invest some time into it it's not gonna be like like you're just gonna get it um you know um out the box you know um for the most part it was pretty set um some of the depending on what software you use you can just go there and hit certain buttons but one of the things that i liked about the toolbox that i didn't like about the um loop deck live is that i didn't want to have to keep looking down you know um with the, with the uh, loop deck um i would have had to keep looking down and it's uh, i think the loop deck was just more a little bit too um, advanced or too much for what I would wanted to use it for. Um, I just needed a few buttons to uh, slice the audio in half, select, um, zoom in, zoom out, delete, and play. And for me, the Toolbox um, Neo was spectacular for that. For me, the Toolbox Neo, it's just simple. You know, um, I don't have very much time to learn softwares. I have limited time to record and edit. You know, my kid, when I put my kids to, um, to take a nap, I usually take the time and I edit videos or in or I record so for me I didn't have the time to sit and learn um, a device or a, a specific software that came with the, uh, the device so for me the toolbox Neo out of the box worked so right here we have the actual toolbox console software where it lets you just program um, each button for the specific software that you um, you that you're using and uh, program each button for the specific task that you may want or desire. You can see on the left hand side, I have mine's program for DaVinci Resolve in Studio One, which is a, which is a um, audio editing software that I've used for years. And also right here, almost at the top of the left, you, um, you can see it says uh, auto switch. And what that does is um, right now, if I click on Studio One, all my buttons would automatically um, be programmed to whatever I have them set in the Studio One. And if I click back to DaVinci Resolve, they'll automatically go back to the buttons that I had programmed for DaVinci Resolve. That's all that button um, um, is for. You can cut it off, you can cut it on. It's really up to you. I have mine cut on so that if I um, click to uh, Studio One by default, I don't have to kind of, oh, what's going on? You know, and kind of um, wonder why this button ain't working for that, or, uh, what have you. So, this is what that used for. And right here, it actually tells you on the side what I have each button set for tall delete pause start no more editing um, and some of the buttons I don't have programmed for anything that I don't really I don't really uh, um, use them so but the video was off real quick so again this right here button 
is for my zoom in and zoom out. This is for my play. I found out about the tour. This right here is for me to be able to zoom through my whole timeline real fast if I want to. Go back. This is for me to be able to zoom. See, this is right here for me to be able to zoom. Make uh, be able to um, go forward and backwards, but not too fast where I can't I, or I can't um, stop somewhere and make a cut if I need to. This right here is for me to uh, cut or slice. This is delete. This is redo. I'm sorry. This is undo. This is redo. I'll show you real quick. Boom. I made a cut. Here's another cut. I'll select this right here. Delete. And hit this one time. Hit it again. Hit it again. And it, 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 re, it redoes everything that I just did. So it's, it's, it's pretty simple. You know, I, I don't really use this button too much. I don't use this button. And I don't use the button on the side. Because like I said, I only need a few buttons um, to be able to edit real fast. And the other ones are kind of like, if you if you need them, cool. If you don't, you know, you have the extra buttons because you need them. I don't need them. So th that's really the gist of how to use it um, in the in the software or in, in a specific software. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, that's the Toolbox Neo for you. I showed you um, it in action. Um, I showed you the different buttons you can use to to program. You can use it for many different softwares. Um, I believe that even on their website that they have like certain um, softwares you can just click on where people have already preset it to. You, you can go there and just um, download that preset and then set certain buttons to whatever you want to set for like for me you saw that i had the small button set for slice for you but you might want it as undo or redo i don't, I don't know so you can just kind of download that preset and then edit whatever buttons you want to edit to to your liking and i will say it's not a right-handed controller it's for left-handed um you know for left hands i don't I think i mean i'm, I'm guessing most people could kind of figure out or get, get used to it i'm sure it'll take a while it's not a problem for me because I'm left-handed anyway. So for me, it works out just great. So when I edit, I have my left hand on the Toolbox Neo and I have my um, right hand on, on my mouse, which is right here. It's actually just, I use my thumb, that's it. So I actually love this, I love this, uh, this, this mouse. I got it off Amazon for like 20 bucks. But um, I, I think the only thing I use is just is my thumb that moves up and down, uh, the arrows and stuff up and down. So I love it. So... For now, thank you guys for watching the video, um, MD MD Reviews. I hope you um, enjoyed the, the review. Please uh, like and subscribe. Um, it definitely helps the channel if you like. Um, so let me know the Toolbox on Neo. Is that something that you could find yourself getting? Um, do you already have one? Would you like me to do, I guess, go more in-depth video of it? Let me know in the comments below. Um, thank you for watching. And again, until next time, peace.